Hey, I'm Kev Kermaskon. Welcome to Forza 7. And doing some multiplayer, even though I've barely played this game. I'm sure this will turn out as well as an overtaken move by Max Verstappen. There you go, there's your room shot joke for the episode. But let's see how we do in Cycle Division. So here's our race. We're going to do two laps round the Nürburgring GP circuit, 3.2 miles long. And we're doing it with some 1960s vehicles. And it's all very old vehicles. We've got a Nissan GTR from 1970 on Mazda RX3 VW Vina. But we've got a VW Notchback from the mid 60s. And we've also got a BMW 2002 Turbo, a couple of them now. So we're probably not in the best car on a track we know pretty well from previous Forza games, a lot of motor racing games. But we're at night. Uh, as well, we've got the headlights on, so I'm not sure how well we're going to do. I just don't want to finish the last as they get into the six-person field. I think that's the aim of the game. So we are it up at the start. Let's get underway. Oh, there's only four people here now. And we're already dropping miles back. I get the fit in this car isn't the best. Hopefully everyone else will take themselves out as look at that, someone just rammed into the back of a couple of drivers. And so we get up into second. Even though that car's on our inside now. We might be cannon fodder for them. Or not, we just about survive on the outside. And we've just been pointed out by them. Wonderful. Well, we keep going ahead of them. I'll take that. Put out quite a nice gap as well, even though the leaders will get up in front of us. It's a trick with these old cars. Seems to be controlling that old rear. Seems to be doing that pretty well at the moment. And gaining nicely. And Jace the Ace. I know someone who's got a nickname like that at work, so that's a bit unnerving, so you know, front. As you break very deep into the hairpin. Using all the curb on the X. You've got a good gap by, and it seems like we've got Sir Bash a lot. Trying to take out the other driver. So we're just concentrating on this lead battle then. As we're halfway through this opening that. Shouldn't have got it up to four, should have stuck in third, it looks like. As you get down to second, braked way too much there. But still, good corner exit. Don't need to break for this corner, do we? Just need to roll off the throttle. Try and have a good exit. Oh, should have got it down to second, it looks like. Did not have a good exit compared to Jason Front. I don't know if we have a good battle though on this last lap as we can forget about the other two. This is a head to head. Get it down to first. And up to second. Trying to use the curb on the exit. Not the best though. See, so dad, the brakes, they've gone wide. Just trying to take the inside line. So side by side, heading towards the second lap, the final lap. As so there goes the BMW. As so we are on the final lap then. There's always a losing the rear under braking. It's gone wide. Just about held it. Are we going to take the lead on the exit? Trying to try and hold it around the outside. That's where neck and neck. Does it go into the left? Oh, we've gone into the side slightly. That might have been my fault. As they outbreak themselves. Oh, try and cut back down the inside. Still fighting the rear. We're still side by side. Unbelievable racing. In the second lap. Gonna have to back out of it. Oh, we tried to cut back. And now we're just playing touring cars here. That's my fault. So we'll back off. Give them a gap. And then ram them in the hairpin. Or not, that's not our aim. 
That was our fault there, trying to cut back into a gap that didn't exist. So we'll go into the hairpin then. And once again, just slid into the rear of them. I was saying it's because they also lose the rear end trying to get the power down. We're a bit smoother in that aspect. As they go flat out through the Schumacher S. Once again, they're losing the rear on that BMW. Our oh, VWs actually seems to be nice and smooth. The handle. We're just not taking advantage of them losing traction on corner exits. There you go, down the inside. Take a look. Once again, they've got the exit. We haven't got any slipstream. Look at this. They're motoring along in a straight line. Have we lost our chance to get by in the first half of this final lap? Has it got a couple of corners to go into? The hairpin. Get it down to second. Ride these curbs. Get it down to first. One corner to go. Of course, they're defending the inside. We're going to try and take a very wide arc here. And try and get on the power nice and early. Did not work. I don't think as we're gaining. Oh, we just don't have the power though. Let's let it go to pull away. And that's quite a good battle on that final. That got a bit messy at times. We finish in second. We lose out to the BMW, but good. Racing there has the Ford Capri and Mazda. I'm not sure they have any panels left. We will see at the end. But I hope you enjoyed that battle. That wasn't a bad first race in Forza, I have to say. Yeah, that was more my fault, I believe, on that last lap. Me just messing up, not really kind of understanding at first that, you know, they're going to lose the rear a bit, getting on the power, trying to stay ahead. But, you know, that was a fantastic first set to those side by side throughout the first, but that was a bit unusual in Forza Online from what I remember. But that's why I love cycle production as well. You seem to be in quite even cars and so you can have that side by side battling. But I hope you enjoyed the first bit of Forza 7 on this channel. I might show you some more. I might show you some more multiplayer. Probably not single player. It seems to be a. It's not, I'm not the biggest fan of single player in Forza, but multiplayer well, definitely I'll try and show off in the future but hope you enjoyed the first taste of it sound fortune and i will see you next time